This is a KC Tech School video. The aim of this video is to connect an analog sensor to an Arduino Uno using Tinkercad and then code the Arduino to be able to continually read in a changing analog value from the sensor. In an earlier video, we used Tinkercad circuits to build a basic Arduino circuit which connected an LED to digital pin 7. We then used code to effectively switch 5 volts out on pin 7 to light up the LED. In contrast, we then use code digital write low to effectively switch the ground or zero volt connection to pin 7 to effectively turn the LED off. Three, well to create an Arduino sensor circuit, we need to create a new circuit in Tinkercad. We need to drag in an Arduino Uno and we need to look find a light sensor. Here's a photo resistor. This is a light sensor. Basically, the description says it's a sensor whose resistance, that's in ohms, would change based on the amount of light that it senses. Let's drag that in and orient it to be connected to our Arduino. Now, the following connections may seem a little bit complex, so I think I might just connect it up first and then slowly explain it. All right. The important thing here now is the analog in pins. Previously, we used a digital pins to connect an output. Here we need an input. Basically, we want to read a changing voltage from this circuit into one of these pins. We're going to use analog zero or A0. Let's grab a wire, pop that in, change it to maybe yellow, something quite different. Put some bend points in. All right, now that we have this, Let's measure what's going on here. I'm going to grab a multimeter. So before we go on in Tinkercad, let's just look at why the sensor is connected in the way that it is. If we look at the circuit here, we've connected the sensor and a resistor. Sensors take changing environmental information and convert them into a changing electrical property. In this case, the changing electrical property is resistance. So then we need to give the sensor circuit some power so it can convert that changing resistance into a changing voltage, also known as an analog voltage, which we can then measure. So if we look at the circuit here, we're essentially connecting the top of the circuit to the 5 volt supply coming from the USB through the microcontroller. The return circuit is connected to zero volts or the ground side, or the negative side of the, the battery supply, the USB supply. Then if we put a multimeter in, we're going to measure across the midpoint, which is going to send an analog changing voltage into here. So essentially when light shines onto the light dependent resistor, its voltage will change. Correspondingly, the voltage across the resistor will change the total can never be more than 5 volts. This will make more sense when we run this in Tinkercad. Okay, now we're back in Tinkercad and we've got the multimeter here just to see what's going on and what voltage we can actually measure into this A0, the, the wire going back to A0 in the analog inputs. So we're going to press start simulation and then we're going to press on the actual light dependent resistor and we can see a little gauge come up. This is a light gauge and we can actually adjust the amount of light uh, shining onto the sensor as a simulation. So if there's no light or very little, we get a very small voltage at this point feeding into A0. As we increase that, we can see the voltage increase at this point, A0. If we put full light on it, we can see a high voltage going to 3.32 volts here. Now, the total voltage available to the circuit is 5 volts. Here we have 3.32 volts going to A0, which is across this resistor. This means that 5 volts minus 3.32 volts would be the remainder here, and that would keep varying. Just to prove that, I'm going to quickly put in another multimeter. All right, now we can see we've got the second multimeter in. If I adjust the brightness, we can see 
always the total voltages add up to the total source voltage, which is 5 volts. The important one, though, is the one across this resistor, which is being fed into A0. We need to be able to write code now to physically read that voltage in and make some kind of sense of it. So we're going to stop the simulation, open up the code window, change it to text. And then we get the default code that always opens up when we run an Arduino sketch from inside Tinkercad. We're going to change that. <laughs> Okay, so now in the setup function, we're going to change things to nominate A0, pin A0, as an input using the pin mode command. So A0, and change it to input. This is not strictly necessary when to specify an input, as it is for an output, but it's just good coding practice to keep it consistent. Also in the setup function, we're going to open up a serial connection more permanently, or start it running. It's called serial begin. 9600. Now this is specifying the speed or bits per second communication between the Arduino and the PC. We normally use a serial connection to upload code in general, but we want to keep it open to be able to code it to read values coming back from the sensor. Okay. Now that we've done the setup, we're going to move on to the loop, and our aim here for the loop is to read the value coming in from the sensor on A0 and save it in a memory location, which we can then display on our PC screen and keep updating that every second or so. To save it into a memory location, though, we need to declare a variable. Now, we want a whole number coming in, so we're going to call it int for integer. Int light value. We're going to call this variable light value. If we want to have two words, we have to put them together like so into one word. And the important command here is analog read pin A0, semicolon. So what that does, it declares a variable called light value, which is a memory location in RAM. Think of RAM as being a set of drawers. We've now called a drawer light value. And what we read in on A0 using analog read will be saved inside that drawer called light value. And we're there, then going to display it on screen. And to do that, we're going to use that serial command or method. This one's called print line, print ln. And we're just going to put in there the little draw or variable where we've saved the value coming in called light value. We're then going to put a delay there of one second. So it reads it every one second and then displays it on our screen. OK, now we're ready to go. So we're going to hit start simulation. We're going to open up this thing called serial monitor which is our connection between the, uh, the Arduino and our PC. We're going to click on our light center, use the little light brightness gauge, and move it up and down. Fully brightness, we can now see a value of 679 coming in, which corresponds to 3.32 3 volts. We bring this down to virtually no light coming in. We get a value as low as 6, corresponding to 27.7 millivolts, or 27 thousandths of a volt. Well, a good question at this point is why are we seeing these values here that are numerical rather than a voltage value that it comes with using a voltmeter? The point is we don't really need the voltmeter, but the analog read tries to make sense of voltages at the A0 point and convert it into something that's understandable. This is called analog to digital conversion. Well, Arduino and microcontrollers in general do not like dealing with analog voltages. They attempt to take that analog voltage, convert it into a digital or binary number that it can understand, and then convert it back to a decimal number that humans can understand. Well, the aim of this video was to connect an analog sensor to an Arduino input pin, and then write code to continually update the incoming sensor value and display it on our PC screen via the serial monitor. The logical next step with this would be to use analog information to control output component behavior.